again, and welcome back to This Week in Rock and Roll History. This is Rusty Allergen, and our topic this week is Custody Battle. A heavy power trio from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Custody Battle was founded by vocalist and guitarist Chuck Tensakis of Jackknifed, bassist Bill Wires, formerly of Split Suture, and drummer Paul Bolge O'Malley, who had just done a brief stint on the sticks with Circular Saw Factory. They self-released two demos in 1998 and 99, and landed a few East Coast dates with Corrosion of Conformity and Soil and Green before signing with Relapse Records. Their proper debut, Southern Fried Fuckstick, appeared in 2001. I had just been promoted to Vice President at Relapse, and the guy who refills my Dr. Pepper machine kept saying, you know, my nephew is in a band with his NHL 97 work league teammate. That's nice, I'd say, but he grew less and less subtle. He would leave homemade custody battle magnets on my Dr. Pepper machine, which was not metallic enough in the front, so they would slide straight to the floor. He wouldn't notice, because his disc man was always blaring whatever post-Soviet thrash klezmer or industrial folk ska he found in the dollar bin at Virgin Records' less cool off-aisle store extra virgin compact disc and pog stop. Fine, I decided, I'll give him a listen. It was schlock. It was worse than schlock. It gave me tinnitus on volume 3. But I saw they had opened for corrosion in Soylent Green, and I had decided years prior that I have virtually no clue what young people like, let alone why. Also, it's bad luck to piss off your vending machine guy, which the entire industry learned the hard way after the infamous Atlantic Records Diet Shasta Massacre of 1993. Weirdly enough, that was never used as a band name. A relentless touring schedule kept them out of the studio until late 2004, when the new album Grizzly arrived, also on Relapse. After which, Wires left the group and was replaced by former Truck Nuts bassist Andy Falco. The live DVD Gruesome Van Accident, which documented a wild show from their winter headlining tour, was released in 2005. After the 06 studio follow-up, Penultimate Apocalypse, the group amicably parted ways, with Tsensakis continuing with his, more literary new project, Proustian Fish. A brief reunion in 2012 yielded a regional tour, and a new full-length, Shit the Money Bed, was released through CD Baby. O'Malley now plays in Shaved Parmesan, pronounced Parmesan according to the band's video interviews. By the time Shit the Money Bed was ready to be released, they had already shat said bed for any label with a prayer of returning their emails. You may remember, fans of the show Jackass had started that nationwide prank campaign to sneak DVDs of gruesome van accident into DMV waiting rooms, which led to a bureaucratic snafu landing custody battle on an FBI watch list. It got to the point where even CD Baby circulated an internal memo not to accept their personal checks. A wealthy fan from a second-generation pyramid scheme helped cash front the album, which was originally Bartholomew the Apostle. But they opted for shit the money bed after Bulge O'Malley drunkenly broke the tempur mattress outlet and soiled the most expensive king size in the entire store. Mmm. You know they're right. Diet really isn't that bad. That wraps up another installment of This Week in Rock and Roll History. We'll see you next week. Till then, check out our website at www.fuckrockandroll.com.